Love and lust. Damn. All of us. Give me a run for my money. There is nobody, no one to help run me. Another world for me. Hey guys, so the first thing that I'm going to do for this look is I'm going to start with foundation. I'm going to use the NARS Sheer Glow and then L'Oreal. I'm just mixing them together because one's a little bit darker. Um, and then I'm actually going to try blending it out with a Scylla sponge. Um, I got this one from Primark, so it's not the actual brand. It's like a knockoff. I tried it the other day with less foundation and I liked it. I think I just had on way too much foundation. For this to blend really well so i just went in with the brush <laughs> this honestly shows though how much product that beauty blenders and brushes soak up because this is not absorbing into the civil sponge at all so i just think it's absolutely crazy Now I'm going to be taking a peachy concealer. This is by NYX. This one is literally exactly like the NARS Creamy Concealer. So good. And I'm also taking the Maybelline Age Rewind just to brighten up under my eyes. And I'm just blending that out with the brush also. So after all my creams have been applied, I want to set everything. I'm using the RCMA powder for under my eyes and on my T-zone. And then for the rest of my face, I'm using the NARS Soft Velvet, I think that's what it's called, in the color Beach. Now I'm just going to be taking a light brown shade from the Violet Boss Pro Palette. This is the best palette that I've ever used ever for eyeshadow. It's incredible. I use this on all my clients. but. I'm just popping this right in my crease as like a transition shade. Now I'm going to be going in with the darker brown shade. It's really not that dark, but I'm just applying this to the crease and I'm not really blending it upwards. And I'm going to do like a half cut crease, but as you may be able to tell, it's not going to be as noticeable because the crease colors are not as dark. Now I'm just going to be doing a white eyeliner look. I'm using this white eyeliner from prestige and let me tell you this thing cracked so badly i have tried almost every white eyeliner like drugstore nothing high-end yet and they all crack so if you guys know any high-end white eyeliners please let me know because i really want to get one so i could do more looks and have them not crack I'm just going over that line with the white glitter eyeliner and then the Swarovski crystals that I'm going to be using I got from AC Moore and I'm using ones that kind of have like iridescence in them and I'm literally just putting lash glue on that white eyeliner and then popping them on. This took a lot longer than I thought it was going to take but I am obsessed with the look and you want to leave a gap right above your lashes so you can apply some falsies. These are actually from Sally's. They're the same thing, but super, super tiny, so I could fit on the wing and on the inner corner, and I love it. I'm using Ardell 113s. They're bomb. You'll see at the end I do curl them more, though, and that really makes a huge difference. Now I'm just going to be contouring my face using a Smashbox bronzer, and then I'm also going to just bronze up my face with a Mineral Hygienics bronzer in the color Warm Kiss, which has a little bit of like a sheen to it. I'm going to use the OG blush. This is Dandelion by Benefit. This is one of my all-time faves. It's just so good. And I'm also taking Bestie, which is that first eyeshadow, and just applying that on my lower lash line. Now I'm taking MAC Myth Lipstick and then Fashion Moral Lip Gloss, just so I can have a super muted out lip and I'm obsessed with it and now I'm going to be curling my eyelashes and you'll see what a difference that it really makes it really opens my eyes um, and I am completely obsessed with this look I'm just applying mascara also just to blend my lashes a little bit because it may have a little bit of white eyeliner on them I'm taking this amazing highlighting palette from Primark it was seven bucks and I'm taking like a whiter shade just because it has some iridescence in it, like the glitter. And I'm also taking a pinky shade on my cheeks. 
So this is the finished look, but I wanted to tell you guys a little disclaimer. This look was an inspired look by a dead on YouTube. I'm gonna link her video down below. There is nobody, no one